Someone told me recently that LEGO doesn't make any pink bricks. And if you're like me, your first thought after hearing this was, um, well, yes they do, right? Just look at all of these, or this, or this. The last one is even called the exotic pink parrot. We've gotten a pink spaceman, and even an all-pink monochrome minifigure in a set. Not to mention the long-running tradition for LEGO to put little pink bricks inside Brickhead's characters so that they seem to have a brain. So how are these not pink bricks? Are you confused? Yeah. I was as well. So to try and figure things out a bit, I went over to Bricklink to check things out. They're owned by LEGO, so surely they must have the most up-to-date list of LEGO colors. Well, sure enough, they do have a list of every color ever made by LEGO, and a quick scroll through shows a full 12 different colors with the term pink in their name. Everything from just regular pink to glitter, translucent dark pink, and even the incredibly rare chrome pink, which was only ever used in this one piece, but this doesn't tell the full story here. Obviously, it appears that LEGO does seem to make a bunch of pink-colored LEGO bricks, but are they still making these pink bricks? Well, yes, in fact, several of these colors saw parked in 2023, so these are still definitely being made. So if we can see all these bricks that look pink, why is it true that LEGO doesn't make pink bricks? You might be thinking that perhaps LEGO is referring to a very specific type of brick, and while this would be incredibly pedantic, it would make a weird kind of sense. I mean, after all, LEGO does use very specific terms for their pieces. I mean, bricks are just a very specific kind of piece. Specifically, a brick is three LEGO plates tall, with studs on top and anti-studs on the bottom. Wedges, tiles, and minifigure elements aren't technically bricks by LEGO's definition. For example, this piece here is the only item that LEGO ever released that Bricklink labels as light pink, and it's definitely not a brick. This is a fabric cape from the long-abandoned Belleville line. But that still doesn't answer the question, so I decided to dig deeper and started checking out every part released until 2023 that Bricklink lists as quote-unquote pink. We've got bright pink, dark pink, transparent dark pink, and satin transparent dark pink. But throughout my investigation, just when I thought I was starting to figure this out perhaps, I saw it. A bright pink brick. Okay, well, I mean, it's Duplo, but not really Lego, but it surely counts, right? You can't possibly say that Lego doesn't make pink bricks whenever they have this brick. Well, if you're not convinced, take a look at this dark pink brick from the Super Mario line. Or how about this? Yep, a satin trans dark pink brick, unprinted, released in 2023 in the Explorer Driving Boat, Gabby's Dollhouse, and the new Guardians of Ship sets. So clearly, LEGO makes pink bricks. But you see, all of these pink bricks aren't actually pink. And here's why. So the colors listed on Bricklink are not the same names that LEGO uses internally within their factories. Yeah, there are actually two sets of names. One that you see on sites such as Bricklink, and one that LEGO uses in manufacturing. And very weirdly, the official names that LEGO uses for their color identification system don't mention the color pink at all. Look at this LEGO brick. It sure looks pink, doesn't it? Well, LEGO calls this color light purple. I kid you not. Light purple. The official names for the colors of pink bricks don't mention the word pink at all. Instead, the names use words such as purple or violet, which you can see on this official LEGO color palette chart from a few years ago. Sites such as Bricklink refer to these bricks as pink so that customers and LEGO fans can easily search up the colors and understand the colors instead of needing to abide by the weird names set by LEGO's manufacturing team. I mean, just imagine needing to refer to this color as bright reddish violet. Three words, and none of them are pink. Thankfully, Bricklink and most of the LEGO community just call this color magenta, because that makes a lot more sense and it's so much simpler. In fact, many of the names that the LEGO community has used for colors for a very long time just simply are not at all how LEGO refers to them internally. You see, over the years, LEGO has released hundreds of different colors, but at any given time, they're only using a select handful of them. As of 2023, LEGO products were officially using 73 different colors, and not a single one has the word pink in it, at least by LEGO's official terminology. It turns out that LEGO divides all its colors into 14 different categories, and everything that we think is pink actually falls under a different color. See this pig? Well, Bricklink calls this color bright pink, which seems pretty legit, but are they right? 
Well, according to LEGO, this color is light purple. And well, if that's light purple, then what color are these? Turns out, this is literally called lavender by LEGO. And that dark pink piece from earlier? Well, that's really bright purple, according to LEGO's terminology. Trans dark pink? Yeah, no, sorry, I think you mean transparent medium violet. Yeah, medium violet. And the same holds true for basically every shade of what we would consider to be pink. LEGO calls anything that most people would call pink some sort of lilac, lavender, violet, or purple in its name. But why even have all of these very specific color names? Why do we have things like new dark red, or medium stone gray, or cool silver? Why can't we just have red, gray, and silver? Well, you see, it's complicated, because when LEGO first launched, it only had seven colors. White, gray, black, red, blue, yellow, and eventually green. That was the name for these colors, and with no way to confuse them, it was easy enough just to ask for a blue brick. By the 1990s, though, LEGO was releasing dozens of different colors, and suddenly, just asking for the blue one became a little bit more complicated. Seriously, LEGO makes more than 12 different shades of blue for their bricks, and being able to give them all proper names is important for both designers and builders. If you go to a home improvement store and want to buy some sort of color of paint or dye, you'll usually see creative names using terms like blueberry or eggshell or dandelion to describe the colors for particular shades. But LEGO opted for a more objective approach and just named colors based on their physical properties. That's why we get names such as light royal blue and fluorescent reddish orange. It seems that LEGO didn't actually bother naming all its colors until the mid-1990s, and so fans just simply started giving them names themselves, as they should. When LEGO finally began naming their own colors, they simply just did not care what names were already being used by fans, and so they simply just came up with names of by themselves that they felt best represented the bricks and fit with the manufacturing process. But by this point, people had already made up their minds about what colors had names, which is why every LEGO color has two names now, which can get pretty confusing. While this is all well and good, it still doesn't answer the question of just why exactly LEGO seemingly refuses to use the word pink in any of its official color names. One of my initial predictions whenever I was researching this topic was that it had to do with the naming of the ABS plastic pellets that LEGO used for their bricks and like the dye color, but that didn't turn out to be exactly what's happening here. You see, LEGO is headquartered in Denmark, and in the Danish language, there isn't a single word for pink. Instead, they refer to pink as light red or light purple, similar to how English doesn't have a singular word for light blue. This helps explain why, in LEGO's official naming terminology, the word pink is never used anywhere. The word pink doesn't directly translate between English and Danish, and it turns out that many different languages refer to colors in many different ways. Think about if the English language didn't have a name for the color brown. We would probably refer to it as dark orange. Since the traditional Danish language lacks a singular word for pink, the bricks that appear to be shades of pink are instead referred to by terms such as purple, lavender, and lilac. But of course, it doesn't end there. No, in fact, it gets even more interesting because, you see, there is a special pink color that we still don't know the official name of. And, well, what is that color? Well, it's called Flamingo Pink, or at least that's the only name we know of. It certainly sounds like a Bricklink name and not an official LEGO name, especially considering that LEGO's official color identifications don't typically use extravagant phrases such as Flamingo, and this color would fall under LEGO's purple color category, so they wouldn't use the word pink. This color was only used for one piece, released in a total of three Clickit sets back in 2006, so quite a long time ago now. But nonetheless, what do you think LEGO would call this color? Be creative in the comments, because it's still a mystery. So ultimately, does LEGO make pink bricks? Technically, no, they do not. But some LEGO colors are incredibly rare compared to others. Click here to see LEGO's rarest colors, and if you've enjoyed, please subscribe to my channel.